What's up everybody, it's Blind Run, and I am going to show you guys how to boot straight into Steam Big Picture Mode with Windows 10. And this is because I built a $200 gaming PC with Craigslist parts, and you can see that adventure here. Just click right there. And I just wanted to go ahead and convert it into basically an in-home streaming box or a Steam OS box, but still have the versatility of Windows if I want to uh, use Windows as well. And then also it can play some games like Rocket League at 60 FPS and other things like that just fine. So it does kind of trump um, some of the capabilities of just my Shield tablet. And I have multiple televisions in my house, so I figure that'd be nice. Um, we'll just have to figure out where it decides to live in the living room, family room, or bedroom, depending on where I feel like it's most uh, useful. Now the other thing is, is I will be using the new Xbox One wireless adapter with it and so I just didn't want to have to always be having to plug in a mouse and keyboard to uh, navigate Windows and I wanted to just go straight into the Steam OS and that's why we did it. Enjoy! Alright, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do once you get logged in is go ahead and press the Windows plus R key and then it will open up the run dialog box and you will type in net plwiz and then you will want to uncheck the box that says users must enter a username and password for this computer and click apply. Once you do that you should be prompted with a username and password and you're just going to type in the username and password for the administrative account that you are wanting to log into and click OK. Once you're done with that you'll be good to go and now you're going to want to pop into your startup programs. You can just type in startup on the search box and then you can see that you have the uh, Steam O or the Steam Bootstrap. You'll want to disable the standard one because you're going to want to hop into after that your startups folder and navigate to that, which will be under your users blind run or username. Sorry, for with the administrator account and so on and so forth. I will put the full path up here for you guys in just a second. Once you're in that folder, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new startup shortcut. And so you're going to right click and click create new. And then if you look in mine, I already have it here, but I'll open this up. You're going to want to configure this and uh, type in the path to your Steam executable with the uh, modifier at the end, which I will put up for you guys as well. So you can check that out and then click OK. Once you've done that, you're good to go, and you can just go ahead and make sure it's enabled in your startup programs and under Task Manager, and then restart the computer. Now, my reboot's a little long here, but I'll speed it up and you guys can see the final results. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, this is Blind Run signing the fudge out.